guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Lauren Lee 11. And if you could tell by today's title, I'm going to be explaining to you what I've noticed over the last three weeks whilst having my hair in a protective style. So I'm gonna to talk to you about what I've noticed, but prior to that, I'm gonna to explain to you what I've stopped doing to keep maintaining the health of my hair and keeping my hair in a protective style. So guys, before I get into this video, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Miss Lauren Lee 11. You can click subscribe right now. Go ahead, click subscribe, hit the notification bell also, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Let me jump into it. Okay, so let me just give you a backstory. What I decided to do three weeks ago, um, I've done a video on it, you can click the link right now up here if you want to see that first and then come back to this video. I decided to do a, a healthy hair challenge for six months. Now, the reason why I called it a challenge is because it is a challenge for me. I usually, if you've seen any of my videos, my hair is predominantly either in a wash and go or a bun, predominantly a wash and go. So I find it hard wearing my hair in a protective style, i.e. braids. Just various reasons, I just don't like how, well I, I like it now, don't get me wrong, I like it now, but I don't know, I just, I, I just it's just not for me. <laughs> um, I decided to do this six month challenge because it came to a point where I'd cut my fringe, if you'd seen in my last video, um, I coloured my hair, ombreed my hair, if you saw that in my last video, and it came to a point now where I'm just, um, I just, I don't know what to do with my hair anymore. I'm not liking how it looks. Even though it looks lovely in pictures, I just don't like how it looks on an everyday basis. 33 degrees right now, and it's just too hot to have all that hair over my face on my neck, so, you know. I thought it's best, especially seeing as it's newly coloured, to try and impart some moisture and increase the health of my hair. The first thing I started doing more was deep conditioning my hair. Reason being is, now if your hair has been coloured or processed in any way, your hair then becomes sustainable to damage because when you're dyeing your hair, it's opening up the cuticles on the shaft and it's taking out uh, the protein of your hair. So therefore, it's also taking away the moisture, it's taking away the natural bonds of the strands in your hair, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's chemically altering them, I should say. So when it does this, obviously it takes away the moisture, so your hair is no longer, I guess, virgin, and it no longer um, is able, well mine, especially being coloured, it's no longer to able to sustain moisture. I've increased my deep conditioning to minimum twice a week. Okay, are you following? I hope so. <laughs> I've also stopped using harsh shampoos, and they weren't so much sulfates or silicones, what have you, but I've just stopped using shampoos for every single week that I wash my hair. What I'm doing is the first week of the month, I will use a shampoo to cleanse my scalp and my hair, and then for the rest of those last three weeks of the month, I will then co-wash my hair. So I'm always putting moisture in, back into my hair whilst cleaning it as well. Okay, so the third thing I've done, I've reduced heat. Now, my hair being in a wash and go, and me wanting volume, I've had to use my diffuser quite a lot. I didn't necessarily have it on a high heat whilst diffusing my hair, but to stretch my hair, it wasn't a high heat. And to do this every week, or every couple of times a week, I noticed my hair was starting to get more dry, more brittle, and it almost stunted. I noticed there was a stunt in my hair growth. So I've literally had to put down the hairdryer and cut out any type of heat. And the way to do that is to keep my hair in a protective style because obviously I don't need to use heat. And my hair is it's actually still quite wet. When I squeeze, I can hear the water in my hair, which is a good thing because it means that it's slowly over time soaking up the water and the moisture that my hair needs. And it's also been sealed by oils as well. So the fourth thing, are we on number four? Yeah, number four. The fourth thing I've done is increase my blood flow through exercise. Now, I'm quite an active person anyway, but I've been doing more exercise because it does increase extra blood flow, and extra blood flow, as you may know, it does actually help stimulate the follicles. You know, I mean, just even massaging your head, you know, it helps stimulate the follicles, it gets that blood flow going. Number five, um, more water. The fact that it's so hot right now in the UK, it it helps me to remember I need to rehydrate. 
I'm so dehydrated most of the time and I'm not a, a great water lover. I'm not really into water. I'll, like, I'll do my infused waters. So I'll put cucumber or lemon slices or what have you. But when it just comes to water on its own, it has to be ice cold for me or just cold. I can't drink warm water or I have to be eating something to drink it. So in the mornings, what I find a bit difficult is I, ha I do have a glass of water in the mornings and I do find it a bit dis difficult. But what I do is, which will lead me on to number six, is I take that water with my biotin. So I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. So yeah, so I'm increasing my water intake through taking my biotin in the morning, um, after I'm doing my exercise, throughout the day just because it's hot, and also I'll have water with my dinner. So I'm getting way more water intake than usual. Okay, so as I said, number six, biotin intake. Now I usually get biotin through multivitamins, I get biotin through my diet, like my spinach and you know, all those good stuff. I don't really eat processed foods to be honest. I have increased my biotin by taking biotin supplements. So again, that has helped. And that's what I'm gonna be doing. All these things I'm mentioning are things that I'll continue to do for the six months. Okay, and I'll be documenting, I will be doing my hair updates. Okay, so, <laughs> oh yeah, number seven. This is the last one, so seven things I've incorporated, changed, done, what have you, to help maintain my protective style. The last one is a, prote um, a protein treatment. Now, the protein treatment that I've done recently was the Cherry Lola treatment, and if you haven't seen how I've done that, you can check my video out now <laughs> of the Cherry Lola treatment. I've done one also on my daughter's hair, and it works perfectly. Um, I won't go into that too much. If you do want to see more about that, you can click the link up here. But yeah, so I've incorporated the protein treatment and then added moisture on top of my hair. So obviously after the protein treatment, I would deep condition, then I would condition, then I would leave a leave-in conditioner. <laughs> okay, and then I'll seal it with oil. So, those are the things. Right, so let me get on to now what I've noticed. Okay, over these last three weeks, I will definitely say the most most things I have noticed. If you've seen previously when I first started my protective style and I had my hair like this, my hair was a lot more dry. Even though I would spray water on my hair and seal it with oil, my hair was inside, still inside the strand I should say. So my hair was still dry. What I have done, three weeks of keeping to my regimen of deep conditioning and spritzing in the morning, just the ends, not all this part because I don't want it to go all frizzy, but just the, the length of my hair. What I have noticed is my hair is more moisturized, my curls are more defined, my strands are no longer splitting, and my hair has gone darker because obviously it's got moisture in there and it's retaining moisture as well. So yes, it absorbs a lot more moisture since doing my hair like this. As I said, my hair's still wet, so it's given it time. Rather than my single strands being out in the wash and go and being air dried, because my hair dries super quick, when my hair's like this, as I said, some parts are still wet. I spritzed it yesterday, uh, yesterday morning. And as I said, some parts are still wet. So, and this is the afternoon now, the next day. And my hair's retaining moisture a lot easier because it's all compact and there's nowhere for the water to really escape. Okay, I felt that my hair has become stronger. When I was co-washing my hair the other day, I noticed that my strands were really, not wiry, but they were they were just really strong. They had more elasticity, as well as um, just strength, strength, overall strength. My hair feels, I, I have less shedding, and my hair, it just feels strong. That's, that's the only way I can describe it, it just feels strong. <laughs> Okay, my hair also feels thicker. Recently, since I was using the heat when I was doing my wash and goes, I felt, I don't know if it's the quality of my hair. As you can see, my hair is quite fine. But, um, yeah, so it looks kind of, there you go, my hair is just quite fine anyway. So I was thinking that maybe my hair was thinning, but it's not. <laughs> it's just that I've got fine strands, but my hair is dense overall, if that makes sense. So when I was um, using the heat on my hair from the blow dryer, I noticed it emphasized the finest thin strands on my in my hair. 
and I didn't like that feeling at all. I had to do a lot to get a lot of volume. But now taking it out of my protective styling when I need to wash it, my hair feels super thick. And that's literally just over the three weeks. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything off the top of my head at the minute, but that those were the last things I was going to say. Uh, oh, also, my washing goes. So, doing a braid out, the first time I took the, the braids out, uh, the first week of doing my protective style my braids out weren't super defined I've been using the same products all the time so my leave-in conditioner and my oil and what have you it wasn't super defined it was kind of frizzy and a bit crispy if that makes sense at the ends <laughs> where they were colored but now the other day yesterday when I took them out my hair was super defined it was juicy the curl the strands clumped together more so Yes, I think overall I'm enjoying my protective styles. As you saw me saw in my last video, I'm experimenting with my protective style. I'm leaving it in these two braids, which I think is cute. But I'm experimenting in the sense of what hat looks nice with this style, you know, what outfits, what makeup, and also what headscarf. So if you want to check that video out. Okay guys, so that's my update so far, my three week update. I hope it was helpful if you do have any questions you can leave your comments down below um, I'll leave oh, is there anything to, oh yeah I'll leave I'll leave the seven things I've stopped doing and started doing in the description box down below as well as what I've noticed with my hair and I'll see you on Monday in the next one all right guys thank you for watching and I'll see you soon bye